just to be clear, the only thing that qualifies me to make this video is the fact that I own makeup. But I'm gonna take you guys through my pregnancy and breastfeeding safe, clean makeup routine. So after I do my skincare, the first thing I put on, which I already did, is the Say Slip Tint. Um, I really like this product because it provides some coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of foundation. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is apply some of the Rose Ink Concealer in the color LX60 to just some spots where I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage. broke out pretty bad my first trimester of pregnancy and I'm still kind of dealing with some dark marks from that. All right, what's next? Now I'm gonna use the Kosas concealer. I'm the color 4.5 and I kind of just use this under my eyes. And I put a little here and here. Honestly, I don't think that this does much, but I watch a lot of beauty tutorials on YouTube and it seems like every single person uses under eye concealer. So I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna do it. It's not hurting me. Okay. Um, I actually think I need a little more concealer on this little spot right there. I just got my first postpartum period in January and my skin is kind of like, what the heck? I can't blame it. Next, I'm going to use the Say Sun Melt Bronzer in Medium Bronze, and I'm also going to use Say's brush. I pretty much do my face makeup the exact same way every single day, no matter what I'm doing. What's next? Um, my favorite part, blush. I'm going to start with the Tower 28 Beach Please Blush in Happy Hour. I'm just gonna bring it up to my nose so that I look like I've been in the sun, even though I definitely have not been in the sun. My makeup philosophy is pretty much let's look as pink as possible. So I'm gonna go in with some powder blush now. I really like the RMS Beauty one and I use the color French Rosé. My lips feel a little chapped so I'm going to use the Rose Ink, or I'm sorry, I'm going to use the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. I didn't want to love this product, but I really do. Next, I'm going to go in with some highlighter. I'm using the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter, and I'm using the color Sunstone. I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended in. Clean 
beauty became really important to me when I found out that I was pregnant. I didn't want to be putting anything on my body that would kind of absorb into me and give the baby any sort of bad ingredients. Um, and now that I'm breastfeeding, I pretty much feel the same way. Next, let's do eyes. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette and I like the color Tell Me More. That looks a little crazy. There's nothing a little smudge it can't fix. <laughs> okay, I'm not done though. All right. Makeup is supposed to be fun, not perfect, and I feel like there's nothing that a little bit of smudging can't fix. It's fine. I just got these Tower 28 one-liners. And I really love them. I'm going to use the brown one in the color Draw Me under my eyes. But first, I think it needs a little bit of sharpening. I also am noticing that I need a little more concealer right there and right there. I like the formula of the one liner because it's pretty draggable. video is super up close and personal. I feel like I'm exposing myself as someone who doesn't have perfect skin, but I don't know. Everyone's skin looks perfect on Instagram, but in real life, it's probably not. Just gonna add a little more concealer there and there and there. And I think I'm just gonna leave it on while I do my mascara but first I gotta curl my lashes I think it's time for a new eyelash curler okay I really like Tower 28's new mascara. It's the Make Waves mascara. Now I'm gonna blend this concealer in with the Rose Ink Concealer Brush. I feel like it blends out less than the Beauty Blender. Rose Ink is my go-to concealer for spots that I need to cover. Okay, I know it looks kind of like patchy, but I'm gonna go in with my finger and just kind of warm it up a little. You know, it's so funny. I feel like everybody in these videos, well, not everybody, but like nine out of 10 people make some statement like, I have used every concealer brush, I've used every foundation brush, and I always just end up using my fingers. It's so controversial. I don't think that's controversial. I don't think that's controversial at all. I feel like that's just what everyone does. Let's just accept that's the best way to do it and move on. 
what is controversial i think is i don't like putting powder under my eyes everyone says oh like your eye under eyes crease if you don't powder them well my under eyes crease when i do powder them i use powder where i've put concealer that i want to stick around or just in spots where i generally want to look a little less shiny Next is brows. I love the Kosas Air Brows. I have one in clear and one in soft brown. Pretty much always use the soft brown. My eyebrows are not that impressive and they need a little help. so funny I never used to use any brow product like when I was in high school when I was in college and only in the last couple of years have I started actually doing my brows and when I look back at pictures I just think is that really the best that I thought that it could look at that time I mean Tell me that didn't make a huge difference. All right, everything looks pretty blended. The last thing I'm gonna do is lips. Definitely overlining just a little bit. Before I got pregnant, I used to get the Botox lip lip, and honestly, Botox and retinol are the two things I miss most about my pre baby life. Everything else I could do without. But for now, lip liner will have to do. and just a little bit more peptide lip treatment. I've kind of stopped using colored lip gloss ever since having a baby because I want to be able to smooch him without getting color all over his little precious face. Okay. I feel like this is the final look. I feel good about this. This is just how I would do my makeup to probably do nothing at home and just play with my baby. Um, maybe go into town, go to the plant store, or go out to dinner. For a night out, I might do something a little bit more interesting to my eyes, but this is just kind of my classic go-to look. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and come back next Thursday.